What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today I want to talk to you about the Wizarding Weekend that will be coming up May 29th. That'll be next Friday and running all the way through the following Monday, June 1st, beginning and ending at 11 a.m. Pacific time. I want to talk about the event overview. I want to talk about the event task. There will be a couple of bundles, some tips and tricks for this event, and uh, I'm really excited about this one because it's going to help us progress our pages. I know I've been stuck on Quidditch uh, Harry Potter for a long time. I've needed a lot of those in my life, and it looks like with this event, it's going to start showing up all over the map. So let's dive in to those details. The event blog reads as follows, from May 29th at 11 a.m. Pacific to June 1st at 11 a.m. Pacific, keep an eye out for the following. A special assignment with rewards including potion ingredients, spell books, and magical games and sports runestones. Free Diagon Alley Pack, which we'll talk about in just a minute, and a magical games and sports runestone. Uh, increased sightings of the Chudley Cannons Player Quidditch World Cup. Nimbus 2000 Quidditch Fan Hermione Granger, Big Positive, and Quidditch Captain Harry Potter. Awesome on the map when using tonic for trace detection. Rewards for returning the above foundables can also include magical games and sports runestones. Be sure to follow along on our official Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram channels for upcoming event details, as well as additional game content releases throughout the month. You can also visit the Harry Potter Wizards Unite community to discuss the game with others, and that's the official forum. You can obviously check all of those things out, but I wanted to talk about that overview because it had a few of the details that we'll be discussing in this video just to do you know, our due diligence here, but I want to go ahead and hop into those event tasks that you guys are wanting to hear about. So as you can see on the screen, courtesy of Orange Wizard, the tasks are as follows and you can complete them in any order. They don't have to be done in a certain order or descending order or anything like that. You can just do these as you play through the event. Use two tonic for trace detection or five magical games and sports level one runestones. Earn 800 Magical Games and Sports Family XP for one Barufio's Brand Elixir. Use 10 Magical Games and Sports Runestones or 6 Snowdrop Potion Ingredients. Return 20 Nimbus 2000 Foundables for 2 Unicorn here. Return 20 Quidditch Fan Hermione Grangers for 1 Powder Dragon Claw. And return 10 Quidditch Captain Harry Potters for 1 Hermit Crab Shell. The completion rewards are going to be 200 Magical Games and Sports Family XP. Three red spell books, one potent stimulo potion, and 15 spell energy. Now, the fun thing about this event is like, I don't really care about the rewards. The rewards aren't really the rewards themselves. The rewards are going to be the tasks that help you get the rewards. Because for me, personally, I've been looking everywhere for uh, Quidditch fan Hermione Grangers and Quidditch Captain Harry Potters for a long time. They've been holding me back on my magical games and sports pages, and I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on more of those foundables so I can continue to push my pages to the next level. Now, the good news is we will be getting lots of runestones for this. So if you're running low on magical games and sports runestones, you'll be able to farm for things like the Quidditch pitch, which won't be boosted. But the Quidditch pitch stands are one of the hardest ones for me personally, maybe not for you. But for me personally, it's really tricky. And uh, hopefully we'll also see some of those new foundables as well out there in the wild. So. Again, I'm really excited for this particular event. Uh, I love the idea of being able to advance in any sort of, you know, event type or registry facet that they can possibly offer for us. So I am very, very much looking forward to this one. Now I want to talk about the bundles. Of course, like I mentioned before, there's going to be a free pack that you can get for just opening the game and playing the game. And that will contain one magical games and sports level one runestone and 50 spell energy. It's always great to have free stuff. So there's no complaints there. And for the premium pack or the SOS bundle, you can get five potent stimulo potions five magical games and sports, level five runestones, and 100 spell energy. And that is going to run you about 480 gold. Now, the main reason that I am excited about this event, and I've already said it before, is of course because of Harry Potter and Hermione Granger, but they will actually be confirmed boosted spawns on the map. Those will be boosted when you are using tonic for trace detection, kind of like a community day that we've had in the past. And they will be dropping magical games and sports runestones. Uh, you have a chance to get some of those when you return those traces, which is actually very reminiscent of the community day that we had back in October with all of the oddities and stuff. Like I got tons and tons and tons of dark arts runestones. So I'm hoping to get a lot of magical games and sports runestones here as well. So we can farm for new things like the Slytherin banner whenever that stops being broken, Quidditch pitch stands. 
footage through the ages, the book, and all of that good stuff. So again, very excited for these boosted spawns that you can see on screen now. And those will include the Chudley Cannons player, the Quidditch World Cup itself, the Nimbus 2000, and Quidditch fan Hermione Granger, and Quidditch captain Harry Potter. And again, like I said, you can have drops of magical games and sports runestones level one two and three have potential to drop from any of those foundables as you return them which i love i love 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 when these like these encounters or bosses if you will like the poacher just drop things like that is a very satisfying game mechanic for me personally i find that very exciting so i hope that that's something that you guys look forward to as well um, yeah, I mean, literally nothing negative to say about this. I'm excited to play. I love Quidditch. I love the idea of all of these Quidditch foundables out here. And again, it's not necessarily the rewards from the quest itself that are exciting. It is just the opportunity to see Quidditch fan Hermione and Quidditch fan, uh, Quidditch captain Harry Potter, like being on the map. Those are some of the rarest hardest to find foundables in my opinion and so i'm very excited for this event i'll definitely be streaming it uh you know every once in a while i might stream it once or twice during the event itself we'll see um you'll just have to you know make sure you turn on those notifications for more info when i go live and all that jazz shameless plug speaking of shameless plugs i want to end this video by saying thank you for watching first and foremost and if it brought you any value please leave a thumbs up down below it really does help out the video it helps out the channel and lets people know that you're enjoying the content make sure you hit that red subscribe button and ring those bell notifications so you'll be made aware the next time i produce a piece of harry potter wizards unite content and again in regards to shameless plugs i do want to plug the discord again down in the description below we have been having so much fun playing fortresses together i played for like an hour and a half yesterday with a group of people from the discord channel and it was so much fun i got tons of red books i got tons of foundables that i needed and just had a blast playing with like-minded witches and wizards who love this game so again i cannot stress enough how important that has been for me and my progression for the game i've already started leveling another profession that will be a secret i do want to plug that i want to also plug my social medias if you're not following me already make sure you check out all of those things and guys thank you so much for watching i'm excited for the wizarding weekend i hope you have a blast yourself and i hope that you get all the foundables that you need but until next time make sure you stay well stay happy and peace